Hello friends, good morning. It is a bright sunny day in Colorado. It's really great when the sun comes out here because in the middle of February is when things really start to get hard. And I feel like today I wanted to just take a minute and tell you five things that you need to know when pursuing a music career. First, let's just take a deep breath. Coming in to number one. Your health is more important than your career. Your health is more important than your career. This is a tough one for performers because we are just pushed and pushed and pushed and kind of feel like we have to do everything for a little bit of time for the hope of making it in our career. So my advice would be as much as you're made to think that not doing one little thing, not doing that concert, not saying yes to this thing is going to make or break your career, it is not. And your health, your mental health, your physical health is more important than your career. Now those can often be intertwined. So like obviously if your career is going well, it helps your mental health, if you feel successful, if you feel like you're constantly doing things you love, those are intertwined. But I think you know what I'm saying when I, when I say the yeses that you feel dread about. Um, you don't have to do those all the time. You just don't. And you can still be successful. Okay, number two. You and only you get to decide what you do to and with your body. Period. It's too important. All right? You get to decide. In the moment, it might feel like the biggest deal and that you're never going to recover if you speak up. But in the long run, if you can stay true to yourself and true to your values, you are going to have a lot easier time dealing with the emotional toll that this career takes. And it is hard in the moment <laughs> to make those decisions, but I just promise you that you will feel way more connected to yourself as an artist and as a person if you can stay aligned with your values and just say no when it's not right for you. Okay, number three, money matters. Unfortunately, in America, this is all kind of pertaining to a music career in America, in the United States, but um, we live in a capitalist society, which means our economy just runs on money. It is what provides you safety and comfort. It is essential. And I wish that it were different, but you can only be poor for so long, all right? If you're gonna have a career with longevity, you're, you're gonna need money. So the sooner you can figure out how to make money instead of paying money and continually paying money for your career, learn how to make money for yourself. It does not have to be through music. It can be adjacent to music, and often it is. Often, a, a lot of singers, a lot of professional musicians have adjacent careers that earns them a little more money because it's really, really hard to just make it through music. As glamorous as it sounds to have this big goal of making it big, the reality is even if you make it big, you're probably still not gonna have everything you need. So invest in figuring out what other things you enjoy and what things you do well, and try to find an adjacent side hustle or career that can help bring in consistent money because you will be paying out some money at the start when you're starting your career. You've gotta have some coming in. And that's just my opinion. Number four, you do 
not have to go into debt to have a music career. Again, it all comes back to this scarcity mindset around having a music career, making it big, and you're gonna be made to feel that if you don't do this thing, if you don't participate in this festival, if you don't take these lessons, then you're not gonna get anywhere. And that's just not true. There are so many ways to make a career. And so, I mean, singers, you know, these festivals that cost thousands of dollars and what college student has thousands of dollars to spend to go train? There are definitely ways that you can make that work by saving money, by starting a GoFundMe, by selling products. You can make that happen with the money you've made, but do not put that on a credit card, okay? You might be able to do it once, but that will start a habit that will kind of give you a little toe dipped into the waters of life and debt. And that is something that will eat you alive over time. If you continue to accrue debt and think that that is something you can do on a consistent basis, it's just gonna be really tough. So I would just say going into debt every once in a while, I mean, I've had to do it for sure. Um, especially like if I get paid a huge amount of money a certain period of time, but then for like a couple months I don't get paid anything. Sometimes I'll put that on a credit card because I know that I'm having income in the future. But in terms of like, that impulse of like, if I don't do this, then I'm not going to get anywhere. It's just not true. And your health, your mental health, your physical health, your financial health is more important than your career. Okay. And number five, you cannot have it all, but you can have everything. <laughs> That is so deep. Did I come up with that? Saying yes to one thing is saying no to another thing. And that can come with a lot of grief. For me personally, to pursue a music career means that I'm often out of town and I'm doing cool things that I love, but also sometimes I miss major events in my family's life. Um, and that makes me sad. And sometimes I think that I should be more present with the people I love and kind of be what was modeled for me, which was just this fiercely consistent presence and care and giving to my family. But when I really take a look inside myself, I know that's not going to give me as much fulfillment as what I'm doing now. On the flip side, I have to be careful that I'm not just going, going, going so much that I overdo it and I feel miserable on either end. So it's this really hard space in between just figuring out what do I want for my life, what makes me happy and fulfilled, and what kind of societal expectations am I feeling that put guilt on top of that? What is guilt and what is like real feeling? What do I really feel? And for me, I need to perform. <laughs> like I need, I have this need inside my heart, inside my bones to pursue the highest form of art that I can. And that just trumps some of the other expectations that I'm seeing, you know, people my age, people in my family fulfilling. Um, and I'm very lucky to have people that love and support me in that, but it still feels hard. And 
saying yes to this amazing thing I get to do that I love means saying no to some other things I love. And I hate that. But that's really the reality of anything, of anything you do. So just kind of expecting that can be helpful. The other day, um, my brother is having a baby. Well, his wife is having a baby. And it's the first grandchild in our family. And it's extremely exciting. And they had a baby shower that I was super excited to go to. But I had rehearsal that day and I couldn't miss it. And so I had to miss baby shower and I was devastated. I cried. <laughs> I was like, what am I doing? I'm a horrible person. I, I'm putting my career over my family. And those are voices in my head from society. Those are not my voices. Those aren't even my family's voices. Like they were fine. They understood and they love and accept me in what I do. Um, and they supported that decision and, and still knew that I loved them. So I think a lot of times we put that pressure on ourselves and it's just something we have to feel through. If you can live in a way where you're consistently in tune with yourself, where you are engaging with the world in an authentic way and being brave enough to pursue this longing, this calling inside of you that might be countercultural and might be very, very hard and not super supported and accepted by society and still find ways to love and to give and to take and just, yeah, that real, real engagement with the world. You have everything. There is nothing more that you can find in life. But that, that life is the most fulfilling that I've found. And it just takes that attention really to grief, honestly. Like, it's your relationship to grief. None of us want to feel it, but we all will. And we all do. We can push it down and try to be positive all the time. But the reality is, like, as awesome and amazing and cool as being a performer is, like, wow, how fun. There is grief that comes with that. And that's real. The sooner we can accept that and let ourselves feel it, the more likely we will be able to continue doing what we love and make it last a long time. Okay, Sassy Jenna is out for the day. Thanks for tuning in. Sorry about the car. It's just the only time I have to talk to y'all. And uh, I've just been feeling these things really strongly. Um, and you know, I'm seeing a lot of younger people struggle right now. And I just want to say, it's going to be okay. It's going to suck. But then it's going to be okay. And you're going to be okay. And we're all going to do this together. One day at a time. Whatever you're going through will pass. I promise. It might pass into something worse. But eventually, it will get better. Thanks for tuning in today. I hope you have a great weekend. You can do it. I'll see you next week.